I'm Sam Bailey and I've just started my new role as Head of Faculty Operations for the Faculty of Sciences at the University of York. I've been at the University of York for about 11 years now. Uh, I started on a three-month contract and never looked back. Uh, my first roles were in timetabling, accommodation and space management and for the past five years or so I've been a department manager uh, managing a couple of York's departments. I'm the head of faculty operations for the Faculty of Sciences. So I'm responsible for the smooth delivery of operations across the faculty uh, and the leadership of our professional services teams and I work really closely with the Dean and other colleagues uh, to make sure that that happens and that the faculty has got that stable leadership. Well the new role um, is very broad, um, it's very complex and um, certainly been lots of meetings to go to and uh, lots of people to get to know um, but it's really exciting because uh, there's an awful lot going on, um, a lot of complex problems to get my teeth into, um, but everyone's been really welcoming and um, is allowing me to learn and get on with the job. So my new role is much more strategic. It's um, taking me from running one department to overseeing the operations within 10 departments, all of which are very different and um, have their own needs and expectations. Uh, so that's been really interesting to try and get to know and to um, manage the politics around all of those different agendas um, that people bring to the table. So over the past year or so, I've been involved in a strategic change project that given me exposure to lots of different things going on and um, lots of new people. And the work I did through that made me really excited to move into something that was more strategic and apply some of the learning and the practice that I've built up over the past years um, into a new kind of role and, and set myself a new challenge. broaden your horizons, make sure that you take opportunities to get involved with things and to learn things beyond the boundaries of your current role. So whether that's within your university or across the sector more broadly using your AUA networks, because you'll need that network around you to be able to support that development and you'll need that really wide understanding to be able to empathise with the issues that are being raised at those levels, um, but also to give you credibility with your colleagues um, who you're going to be working with at that senior level. So um, obviously I'm new into this role and uh, you know a lot of time ahead of me here to uh, make changes and hopefully improve the way that things work at York um, and I'm really keen as an AUA member to help improve the development of our professional services who I'm working with. In the longer term, who knows? I've always taken opportunities as they come up where I see that I'm a good fit and that I have something to add. So I don't really know what's next for me. I think that's the really exciting thing about working in this sector is that there's no really specifically defined career path for you um, and you can apply your skills and knowledge to whatever comes up.